I've been wanting to do a look like this for what seems like forever now. I've always wanted to do like an older type tutorial, like a masquerade type thing, but I've always wanted to do it with the mask actually carved in the face, like the lace in the face. Lace in the face, that rhymed. There's tonight's entertainment, you're welcome. New Me has sponsored the hair portion of this video. So be sure to stick around after the makeup tutorial to see how to do your hair like this. Which if you take the blood away, it'd be nice for like homecoming. Or maybe you might get sent home from school if you try to wear this to a dance. I wouldn't suggest it. All the products that you say we listed somewhere around the video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. To start with the makeup, I'm applying the palest foundation known to mankind, which actually at some points in the year can match me. You can then powder that using translucent powder or white powder. I really want to make myself pale, but not white. Prime your eyeballs. Using a fluffy brush, I'm applying white eyeshadow underneath my brow bone as well as in my inner corner. I'm then applying almost a light orange color to my crease and then a heavier orange color over that. Using a red-brown eyeshadow, I'm applying that to my lid as well as underneath my eye heavily. I want to keep a lot of shadow underneath my eyes because I want it to look very ghostly. Using the smallest brush I could possibly find and red body paints, I'm drawing in the pattern for the lace. I'm referencing a couple different lace masks that I found online, but you can really do whatever you want. Which is what I ended up doing because trying to follow a lace pattern is very difficult. To give it a little more of a cut look, I'm making sure that it's thick around the eyes as well as the edges of the mask. To deepen up the cuts, I'm using black body paint and going along the edges of what I'm trying to do every single one. Mainly, I'm focusing around the eyes, on the edges, and anywhere where there is a swirl and a clear edge. This will begin to give your cut some more depth or just make it a very cool black and red mask. Mixing together a tan and white body paint, I'm using that as a highlighter for above all of the cuts. This will help highlight and establish an edge. Using a light brown shadow, I'm then going around the entire mask, which is also continuing to create an edge where the skin is broken. You can also add some light pink shadow around the entire mask to add a little more irritation. To add the first step of my fake blood, which is the non-sticky blood, I'm using an alcohol-based palette and a blood tone and just creating a little bit of drips. To start off the neck, I use light tan body paint as well as red body paint to make a tan pink body paint. Something a little more flush toned and not so much where I have to commit to it right away. Once I have the shape I want, I'm going in with red body paint and connecting the bottom of the neck corset, as well as adding that red tone throughout the cuts. To create more depth, I mixed red and black body paint together, and I'm then going in those cuts and just defining them. As well as adding some black on the edges to give it even more depth in certain areas. To highlight these sections, I went in the curves and the corners using white and tan body paint. I then went in with light brown body paint and medium brown body paint just in the corners also to establish the edges of the skin. For the hair portion of this tutorial, I'm going to be using New Me's Curl Jam set, which has three different barrel sizes plus a flat iron. There's a 19 millimeter, 25 millimeter, and 32 millimeter. I don't want these curls to be too tight, so I'm going to be using the 25 millimeter, which is best for my fine hair. Like I said, my hair is very fine, but I'm still going to be dividing it up into three separate sections. When working with a New Me wand, you're going to be provided a glove. Please wear the glove. It helps so you do not accidentally burn your fingertips. For each curl, I'm taking about a one inch section or so, and a little tip that I have for wearing the gloves so you're not trying to figure it out when you're trying to figure it out the first time. Whatever side you're working on is the hand you're going to want to have it on. So if you're working on the right side, have it on your right hand. If you're working on the left side, have it on your left hand. For this look, I'm curling each curl away from my face. These irons heat up to 410 degrees and my hair is very fine so I literally only have to hold it on for a couple of seconds. For someone with thicker hair, that temperature is still a very quick temperature to be able to curl your hair, but you might need to hold it on a little longer than I do. Of course, I do have two discount codes. One is 
You look great. For a curl jam set for $87 and a free argan oil. The other one is made with love and it's 50% off the website plus free shipping to the US. If we didn't just share a love moment for these codes right now, I don't know when we will. Because let me tell you, I didn't get to choose my codes, they made those codes and they're adorable. For the very top section, keeping it in mind that I want to pull back the top, I'm just curling the ends of it. And clip back the top half of my hair using a clip.